John Alford had a vision for improving the New Orleans school system. Instead of shutting down a failing school, why not go in with a specialized team of educators who have the ability to turn things around? Thus was born NOLA 180, a nonprofit charter management organization whose mission is to transform failing schools and groom students for greater academic success. In the 2007-2008 school year, John Alford's vision was fast becoming a reality. As CEO of NOLA 180, he was successfully executing the first part of his plan. He was creating a model school where he hoped to identify and train a group of top-notch educators who could then take on failing schools in other parts of New Orleans. Eric Bankson was an incoming second-year student at Stanford's Graduate School of Business. As a strategy consultant before attending the business school, Bankson had had the opportunity to meet Alford. When he arrived at the business school, Bankson found himself gravitating toward the social sector, and in particular, towards his hometown of New Orleans. When the time came to apply for an internship, he knew what he wanted to do. Eric Bankson reconnected with Alford. Alford knew exactly what Bankson could do to prepare for the next phase of his plan. We need somebody to do a turnaround plan, someone that can figure out what does turnaround school look like. Big high-level perspective, operation perspective, and most importantly, from a training perspective. Alfred was working at the margin of public service. His organization was a nonprofit, and his management style was entrepreneurial. He needed to integrate multiple approaches and design new solutions. After taking the Center's Social Innovation elective courses, Bankston felt ready to tackle the challenge. To cover for Bankston's salary, Alford turned to the Stanford Management Internship Fund, or SMIF. SMIF is managed by the Center for Social Innovation and supports social purpose internships for MBA students. Bankston soon arrived in New Orleans to help the organization plan for a school takeover. The reason I think this is helpful, I think John could do this work himself if he had the capacity. But where we are right now, um, both John and really the rest of the organization need to be focused on the operations of the school that's, that it's running. And it would not make any sense for us to do takeovers unless we are solid from a student results standpoint, from an operation standpoint, from a human capital development standpoint. So John and, and his team have a lot on their plate. Bankson hit the ground running. He was in schools daily, watching and learning from the field. He was also tutoring special needs students to get a more in-depth knowledge about the challenges facing educators in these settings. His turnaround plan aimed at answering several key questions. When should NOLA 180 start tackling the turnaround challenge? How many people should it hire? What type of school should it be looking at? During his 10-week internship with NOLA 180, he also developed a concrete, executable training program for the teachers and schools. Alfred was pleased with Bankston's efforts. Calling him a super uber MBA mind, Alfred was especially appreciative of Bankston's ability to look at a problem closely, frame it correctly, and then break it up into pieces to solve it. Eric Bankston's contributions, made possible by the support of the Center for Social Innovation, will be critical in helping NOLA 180 meet its goals. Mm -hmm.